Welcome to this lesson on factoring difference of two squares. Difference of two squares is the difference of two perfect square monomials. And what that means is the coefficients must be perfect squares. And perfect squares are like one times one is one, two times two is four, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. All of these are perfect squares. 25, 36, 49, so forth and so on. You may want to write down the perfect squares if you're not super familiar with them. That's going to help you a lot in this lesson. So let's go all the way up to 12. So let's see, that's 7 times 7. 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is 81. 10 times 10 is 100. 11 times 11 is 121, and then 12 times 12 is 144. So those are the numbers that we're going to be looking for. And then the variables must have even exponents. So it's going to have two terms because it's the difference of two squares. It's going to be a difference, so it's got to have subtraction. So it's going to be the difference in a monomial and a monomial. It's got to be difference. The number has to be a perfect square, and the variables have to be even exponents. So we got subtraction. We have two terms here. We have perfect square numbers, coefficients, and then we have even exponents. So the difference of two squares is a special case when factoring. And let's go over how this works. So the first thing you want to do when you see difference of two squares, so you're going to have to identify in a problem if it doesn't tell you. So first of all, identify that it's difference of two squares. So here we have two terms. We have perfect square coefficients and constants. It's difference. And we have even exponents. So this checks out. This is difference of two squares. So you want to find the square root of any coefficients first. So the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 49 is 7. Don't worry about that negative in the middle. Number two, find the square root of the variables by dividing the exponents by 2. So the square root of x squared, 2 divided by 2, that's x to the first power, or just x. And then number three, we're going to open up two parentheses with the square roots and opposite signs. So opposite signs mean the first one is going to have plus, the second one minus. If you switch those, it doesn't matter. It's still the same thing. So I'm going to take the square root of this first term, which would be 5x, and put it in the beginning of both parentheses. And then the square root of the last term, which we found right here, 7. And that is our answer. And you can always check by distributing back. So 5x times 5x, that's 25x squared. I'm just distributing or using FOIL first. Outer, 5x times negative 7 is negative 35x. Inner, positive 35x. And then negative 49. I have like terms in the middle, negative 35x plus 35x. Well, that's zero, so I don't need to write that. I'm just going to bring the rest down. And as you can see, that is what we started with. All right, so let's try that again. So remember, your answer is going to have two sets of parentheses. So I want to take the square root of the first term. The square root of x squared is x. That goes in the front of both parentheses. Remember, it's plus minus. And then the square root of the last term, which is 1. And that's it. That's your answer. All right, let's try a couple more. So the square root of 9x to the 6, well, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x to the 6, you just divide the, ver the exponents by 2. So that would be 3x cubed. And then plus minus the square root of 36 is 6. 
All right, number three. The square root of 4x squared will be the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared is x, so 2x plus minus. The square root of 81 is 9. The square root of y squared is y. Alright, number 4, the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of y to the 4th is y squared. Number 5, the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 100 is 10. All right, pause the video and try six through nine by yourself. Okay, let's see how we did. There's number six, five y and 11. Let's see, that's eight. That would be 3x squared. Scroll up here. This would be y plus 12, y minus 12. Now, number 9 is a little bit different. If you notice, 2 and 50 are not perfect squares. Anytime you factor, you always want to check and see if there is a GCF first and factor that out first. That's why we learned GCF first. And this actually has a GCF of 2. So I divided everything by 2, factored that out. And now you see inside parentheses, that is a perfect, uh, that is a difference of two squares. 25 is a perfect square, x squared is a perfect square. So that would be x plus 5, x minus 5, and I just brought that 2 down beside it. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete your practice.